you're back again. Someone told me someone came into my lab. What do you want this time? Didn't I just see you? You want to know how a great ball works this time? Okay, have a seat. Let's review it. Well, I just so happen to have a great ball right here that I can show you how it works. So we'll go through this great ball and see what's inside, kind of see the anatomy of a Pokeball. And yes, my lab coat is still comically oversized. Nurse Joy still hasn't sent over the correct size. Now, inside of the great ball, which unfortunately came from Pokesmon Center with this giant dent in it, I'm assuming the people that were shipping it were basically members of Team Rocket and really didn't care about how they were treating the Pokeball. Okay, now that that all now that all that junk is off, now of course you know that the Pokeballs kind of just unhatch when you push the button. And once they unhatch, you'll find a couple Pokemon on the inside. We have some Sun and Moon Pokemon, XY Steam Siege, and Sun and Moon Guardians Rising Pokemon. As well as a coin to keep them company while they're inside the Pokeball. In this Pokeball we have a holographic... Uh, speckled Alolan Ninetales coin, which we actually had in the normal Pokeball. So they have, they probably have a huge stock of those they're just trying to get rid of and, and dump out into the world. Since they have, apparent both of those balls I ordered had the same one. So, which of the Pokemon we get are going to inhabit this ball? We'll start with XY Steam Siege. Uh, set that's I think highly underrated in my opinion because it doesn't have perhaps as good a pull rate on really good cards, but I like a lot of the art and the Pokemon inside now It is one two three to the front Almost almost dropped the entire set of cards there Pokemon Ranger Nice card. I haven't gotten before an Ambipom Nidorino Nose Pass, Lit Leo, I'm so lit right now, Yanma, <coughs> Apom, Reverse Hollow is C Dot, and on the back, oh, Xerneas Holographic. Kind of be looking like a Yu Gi Oh card, though. Alright, which one? Sun and Moon or Guardians Rising? We'll do Guardians Rising and then Sun and Moon base set. Sometimes these just don't want to open. Just like Pokemon, sometimes they don't want to come out of their Pokemon. Sometimes they do. Uh, you really just have to have a good relationship with your Pokemon so that when you do want them to come out of the ball, they will and won't give you too much trouble. Rescue Stretcher. Hakamowo, an Energy Lotto, Stuffle, Fat Pump, Helioptile, a Beldum, is one of my favorites, among many other favorites. Tentacool, very nice art on that card. Reverse is Lampent, and on the back, Haunch Crow. So, zero out of two packs, meaning something good is coming out of our Sun and Moon. It's going to be good. It's going to be something. It's going to be GX or better. Let's see what we get. This one doesn't want to open either. And I hope that's the right number of cards. Steel Energy. Araquanid Rare Candy. Wishy Washy, all by himself, Dewpiter, Alolan Diglett, Marini, Crab Roller, Eevee, that's a nice card. A lot of speculation on Eevee cards with the uh, Eevee Evolution set coming out in Japan. Reverse Passimian, and on the back, <gasps> there we go, Primarina GX, I knew it, I knew it was something good. F Primarina GX, Bubble Beat, Roaring Ski Seas. Grand Echo GX, 42 out of 149. And you get a sleeve. Well, thank you for watching. I suppose we'll put this Passimian in the Great Ball and let him just kind of rest in there for now. 
I hope that this lecture has been informative to you on how a great ball works. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. If you're returning subscribed, you thank you so much for coming to my lecture. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and we'll see you on the next video.